going on guys? Welcome to Poe Boys. I am Poe and I didn't change my battery on my G7X. Okay, I'm back. New battery. So, I want to talk to you guys about the stuff I have, including the turbos, all the stuff I ordered for my car, where my car is right now, where my truck is right now, and the bikes, so that's five now. So, I'm just going to do a complete update on everything. I'm also going to tell you all how I got my turbos for so cheap, and basically go through a build list of the car and what I'm going to be doing for the next few months. Or the next month, I guess. I don't know. I can't think that far because crazy things can happen. As of right now, we're just going to do for the next month of what I have planned and what y'all can look forward to. So if you look in here, got Crack Rock right here. Got the Poe bike right there. Got some forces right here. These are going to be put on my F350 because those are the 8 lug bolt pattern. And these are my Tacoma wheels, which are for sale. So if you want to buy these, they are 17 by 9s and 34 by 12. Local pickup only, $700 or something for them. So if you want to get them, go ahead and pick them up. If not, I'm not too angry, but I'm um, gonna keep on talking about some more stuff I got. This is a clutch. This is the clutch for my car. It's an Exceedy. It is a unsprung puck clutch. So out bearing and all that stuff. It's good for about 600 horse. No, it's not an Exceedy, it's spec. I guess maybe it is spec. I thought it was Exceedy. Never mind, I was wrong. It's spec. But the clutch right there is good for about 600 horse, and I don't know how much uh, torque it's good for. It's good. It's for a good amount because I know I wouldn't buy it if it wouldn't uh, wouldn't at least what I was going to build. So I'm gonna put that over here. Boop. And the difference between a sprung clutch and a non-sprung clutch is this is just gonna be way more aggressive when I let out the clutch. What's gonna happen is it's just gonna jerk the wheels, which is good for drifting, but I'm gonna try it for drag racing because it was pretty cheap. And here we have another thing that I've been needing for a long time. This happens to be the clutch for the truck because my clutch is messed up right now. It's a thousand foot pound of torque, 900 horsepower, single disc clutch, and it's sprung. And it's not a puck style, it's a whole like blade. And I'm gonna be putting that on soon. Came with a throw out bearing and all that good stuff. So the truck, as of right now, will not move. Like, it will move, but every single gear, it gets up to redline before I can even get like some mile an hour out of the truck. So it'll only go like 30, and I'll be in fifth gear at redline. And it's... It's not good. Basically, the clutch is just completely messed up on that thing. These are some blow off valves, which these have to do with the turbos. So we'll put those right here because I'm not going to talk about those right now. I'll talk about those in here just a little bit in here. This is a MBRP box. Wonder know what that means? Exhaust. This is a four inch exhaust all the way through for my truck. So I have a full four inch exhaust for the truck. And guess what else I've got coming? An edge revolver tuner. So I'm going to have a tune a clutch and exhaust, as well as forces. So the truck's gonna look good here in a little bit. It's also getting wrapped too. And I'm not gonna tell y'all what color it is because it's gonna be something crazy like that you would not expect at all from me. Actually, wait, you probably would expect it from me because it's some wild, but like you wouldn't expect it for a work truck. And that's exactly what my truck is. So got that exhaust right there. And also got the rear bumper for my car because my car is getting wrapped. Right here, I'm dealing with the front bumper right there, the rear bumper right there, or the, I guess the bumper cover the front one the rear one that's a GT and I believe this is a v6 that just says Mustang with no exhaust because I'm not gonna be running exhaust through the back of the car I'm gonna be dumping it straight out the bumper so whoo <laughs> America a little bit of v6 America action as well as this came in this was a four inch cow hood for my car that is a four inch bulge for that cow on the hood this thing is going to be sweet so it's gonna be super lightweight it weighs like all of maybe, it probably weighs like 10, 11 pounds. I really just cannot wait for it to be on the car and all this stuff to be on the car because it's gonna get wrapped here in a second, which I'll explain to y'all what all that is, what's all gonna happen with all that here in a second. So right here on top of everything, I have a deck lid for my car. This is a whole deck lid, which is basically just the trunk. I took the wing off of my car, if you can see in some pictures, and it looks a lot more clean without a wing, but the problem with that is there's holes in my trunk and my trunk's been, I, I don't know who had it before me but the holes are like way bigger than they should be so it's like cracking and there's pieces of fiberglass falling off because most of the parts on new edges are fiberglass because it's lightweight i was like what the heck so i had to get a new deck lid with no holes so i ordered this one got this deck lid in no holes at all got the bumpers got all that stuff also from lmr came in this this is a splitter a little chin splitter so it'll be nice just to put on see it actually have a splitter on the car but this thing's gonna be pretty dope all right so what basically is gonna happen is the car is gonna be extremely clean oh, oh, oh boy I'm gonna sit on my bike pull bike okay 
So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get all of my stuff done through Jared. He does work with rail and basically he's gonna be doing a full deal on my car, sand everything, make it look clean, make the body lines clean because he owns a new edge. So basically new edges are very easy. So he's gonna be cleaning up the car. That's why I got a new front bumper, rear bumper, deck lid, hood, everything because he's gonna be making it look pristine. And what we're gonna be doing is a really cool paint scheme. There's gonna be some other things in there that are gonna be, that pop out a little bit. That's gonna be really sweet. And on top of all of it, the car is going to look beautiful and he's got a big reveal set up. So in Alabama next month, the 10th ish is going to, I'm going to be in Alabama. So it's going to be really cool. Y'all need to look forward to that video because it's going to be wild. I might be able to meet up with some of y'all down in Alabama when I'm there, but uh, we'll just have to figure it out when I get there. If I'm ever in Alabama or in a different state and I'm wanting to meet up with someone or a fan or just hang out, then I'll let y'all know. So check my Instagram. If you're not followed, go ahead and follow me right up there. And now, here's the reason why some of y'all might have clicked on this video, because it's probably what I titled it, is why I got some turbos for $400. In fact, the turbos that I got were a complete bolt-on kit, which it's not complete, but it's close. So a kit basically for a new edge Mustang, that, that's, the, that's the car I have, which is like 99 to 04, which is new edge. They said it's going to be a complete bolt-on twin turbo kit. Harry sent me the link and I was like, all right, I'll check this out. And this is right after I flipped my truck. So I was looking for a new vehicle anyways. So I saw the turbos and I was like, dang, these things are $400. So I looked I looked at them, saw that they were good turbos, asked all the good questions. And then we went out and got the turbos. And then I got the car. So it's pretty sweet. Y'all just look and see what I got for $400. So if you look right here, this is a Garrett turbo and this is water cooled and oil lubricated and it's a full turbo if you look at the header right here it's completely wrapped and it's set up for front mount so they're going to sit on the engine bay so like if you're looking at the motor right here from the front of the car and the hood's popped up and the windshield's over there and all that stuff the turbos will be here and here on the side of the motor so it'll be a front mount twin turbo kit the turbos are in great condition they're 61 millimeters as well as they came with wide bands and the headers are already wrapped in heat wrap so they've already got the whole kit ready to go and the best part about this is it's not even used like I've been looking through these pipes. None of this stuff has been used before. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see what all this can do. On top of buying the twin turbo kit, they came with these blow-off valves. The tile blow-off valves or teal or however you pronounce that, or actually scratch that. This is the blow-off valve and these are the wastegates. It's gonna be pretty sweet to see all this stuff on the car because those look really pretty and those look dope because everyone loves some snails. Also on top of it, I got the water system which is this right here and what I'm getting from this I never was told how to do it but what I think is I'm gonna cut a hole like directly in half of my uh my coolant line and put this in there put a hose clamp on this side and on this side and then that will feed water into the turbos and it'll bring it back as well I'm not thinking that's gonna be too hard to install next up there's these oil drain lines which these might be a little not fun to do so i'm gonna go ahead take the oil drain lines i guess just take them and bolt directly into the oil pan or something like that and drain them down there and then these also have the oil feed lines on them as well so oil feed oil return everything i need this kit is ready to go and i bought it for 400 dollars on marketplace which is also another thing i like to say is marketplace is great if you don't if you don't want to pay like brand new prices look on marketplace and don't be afraid to lowball like i said that bike the guy was asking three thousand dollars for he was getting deployed, so I was like, I got you, $2,000, and I'll drive there right now. He drove, four, he lived four hours away from me. So I was like, okay, let's go. And next thing you know, we have the bike. I have the Supermoto, $2,000 cash. Crack Rock, I traded my trike for it. I actually built a drift trike back in the day, and then I also put an exhaust on it too. Um, just a stock RMZ exhaust for now. So the bike's pretty much ready to go. All I need to do is turn it on and do all that stuff. But that's not this video. Everything, you can get very cheap if you look right in the right spot. So that's the turbo kit I got for four hundred dollars and trust me i got a steal i looked at the price of those turbos just alone they're twelve hundred dollars a piece just for the turbos the blow-off valves are like a hundred dollars a piece and i got one blow-off valve two wastegates those are so about that's about three hundred dollars the headers are probably like a hundred dollars the exhaust wraps like fifty dollars wait the wide bands are 150 i mean it's it's a really expensive kit and i just got it for really cheap so i really did luck out on that so as soon as i get my car heater core lines back together i'm going to take my car here so that way i don't have to take all this stuff to the to my garage and then i'm going to install all this stuff get it ready to get painted 
and I really cannot wait. This is gonna be sweet. This is just an update video, and I wanted to show y'all a few things. So basically, y'all know what's going on within the next few months because I'm gonna be installing the turbos. I'm gonna be getting my car painted, or I guess dipped. I'm gonna be getting my truck dipped. New wheels on the truck, new front runners for the car. I'm looking for front runners for my car. Probably gonna take it to the track a few times. Might take the bike to the track. Still trying to get my moto vlog set up up because I really want a moto vlog. It's just my microphone has not been working with the GoPro adapter. I got a Rode mic, a GoPro Hero 7, and the GoPro microphone adapter and it's just not working for the life of itself so I don't know what to do there but I'm just gonna have to figure something out but that brings this video to an end because that's all the stuff I have in my living room and my living room is also just the parts place and on top of that I also have a fuel pump for the truck and a fuel filter some other small things just that i need to do so i'm going to be doing a lot of mod videos hopefully getting these tires on there when i can find some 33s that are in good condition i'm probably just going to get some used tires because i'm not going to run these for too long because i'm going to be getting a new set of wheels here soon i just want to look good while i'm towing down to alabama at least so i'm going to go and do that and y'all thank you for watching stay tuned for the next one because there's going to be some crazy stuff happening yes i'm getting a cage in my car because that's not safe as well as, well as a roll har uh, harness bar. I have a harness for him at my house in Bozier, which is an hour away from here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that eventually. And y'all, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Look forward to the rest of the videos. And don't forget to send me.